This video is going to discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of traffic signals. Why do we use traffic signals? What are the advantages and disadvantages? Pause the video and make a list of as many advantages and disadvantages as you can think of. There are a number of advantages of traffic signals. First, they provide for orderly movement of traffic. Second, they can reduce right angle crashes. Third, they can increase capacity or throughput at an intersection compared to some of the alternatives. Fourth, they can allow crossings for movements that are otherwise have few gaps in the opposing traffic. Five, they help coordinate traffic and can thus reduce travel time on the network as well as at that location. Six, they might give drivers confidence in the system, tells drivers what to do. And they might be cost effective compared to interchanges. On the other hand, there's a number of disadvantages. Depending on circumstances, they might increase delay. If you put in a traffic signal where there's very low volumes, people will be waiting even though there's no conflicting traffic. You'll probably increase rear end accidents. People will collide from behind as they anticipate that the driver ahead of them will go through on a light and they break and as a consequence the driver behind didn't leave enough gap and wasn't paying close enough attention crashes into them. They can promote disrespect when they're unwarranted or misapplied. When they're improperly timed they often lead to driver irritation.